So, in this uh, video, we're going to look at the divisors of any given number and then we're going to sum the Möbius function of each one of those divisors for all of the numbers. So here we're going to go 36, 37, 38, 39. Now, for those not sure of the Möbius function, if you check the link in the description below, I'll have a link there explaining how we come across the Möbius function and its values. But just for a quick uh, refresher, Möbius function, so that's mu of d, takes one of three values, minus one, zero, or positive one. So it takes the minus one when the sum of its prime factors, so sum of prime factors equals an odd number. And on the other side, plus one when the sum of prime factors equals an even number. And it takes the value zero when the prime factors are repeated. For example, if you've got eight, so I'll put here prime factors repeated. So along here I'll put, for example, eight, prime factors of eight are two cubed. Obviously the two is repeated more than once, so it takes the value zero. And then what you also have is, is that this one and this one are both what's called square three. Okay, now that's a quick refresher. Now let's go on to the main question here. So mu of d, so we take the divisors of 36 and sum them all up. Obviously this big notation here for the sum. So we're not interested in prime factors at the moment, just any of the factors. So for 36, we have one, two, three, four, six, nine, 12, 18, and 36. Okay, so now we need to take the mu, that's the Greek letter mu, of each one of these. So mu of, let's just put one big bracket here to denote, just allow me to do that. Just say, keep writing mu of each one. So mu of one, prime factors of that, is just got itself, so it's just one. So therefore that takes the value positive one. Likewise, mu of two, the only prime factor of that is two itself. So again, this one here just takes the value of minus one. Okay, three, prime factors of three. Again, three, prime factors of that is just three. So therefore we put minus one. As it's only one, it's an odd number. Now for four, this is where we come to prime factors repeated. So four is two squared. So that takes the value zero. Okay, for number six, the number six prime factors is three and two. Let's just write them down here as we get a little bit more complicated down here. Three and two, so therefore that takes the value plus one, so that's even. Nine, so nine is three and three, so we've got repeated, so therefore it takes the value zero. Twelve, so twelve is two times two times three, so again we've got repeated prime factors, so that one takes zero. Eighteen is three, three, two, again we've got repeated. So that again takes the value zero. And now 36, so that's two, two, three, three, four nines, 36. That takes the value zero. So now we're gonna sum them all up. Plus one, minus one, minus one, plus one. All the zeros gives us a grand total of zero. Okay, move on to 37. So the divisors of 37 are 1 and 37 itself, as 37 is a prime number. So now we take the Möbius function of each of these. So 1, we get plus 1. 
that's one in itself. And then 37, that's minus one, because it's only 37 there, so that's minus one. Okay, sum them all up. Again, we get zero. Okay, so 38, the divisors of 38 are one, two, 19, and 38. So let's take the Mobius function of all these divisors here. The Mobius function of one gives us plus one. Two, again, it's just got two as a prime factor, so that becomes minus one. 19, again, as a prime number, all prime numbers give us the value of minus one. And 38 has prime factors of two and 19, so that's an even number, so now that gives us plus one. So sum them all up, and surprise, surprise, we get zero. Now, we'll try 39, let's see what we get. I think we know what we're gonna get, but let's go with it anyway. So divisors of 39 are one, three, 13 and 39. Let's take the Mobius function of all these. Mu of one, we know is plus one. Three is a prime number, so that's a minus one. So two is 13. And 39, prime factors of that are three and 13, so that's positive one. So again, our answer is zero. Now, if you want to try on your own the numbers 40, 41, 42, write down in the comments below what you get. Let me know what you get. I've got a feeling you might get a zero, but let's see.